Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. Well, uh, today's video is very special because in today's video, we're gonna discuss about three main cloud service providers, that is AWS, uh, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So we will go through the overview of this cloud, then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of these three clouds. So after watching this video, you'll have a better understanding about these three cloud service providers and it will be easier for you to actually make your mind which cloud is uh, best for you to start with. And uh, before starting the video, I just want to talk about my background. Well, I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing field. I have uh, multiple certification in cloud. I do have certification in AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. So uh, yes, uh, it's been a pretty wild ride for me, but uh, I am enjoying each and every moment in the cloud era. And uh, beside that, I also have work experience uh, in multiple companies. I can mention IBM as an example. So without further delay, let's dive in. Okay, so let's start with uh, AWS. So uh, whenever we're talking about cloud computing, the first name that comes to our mind is AWS because AWS is the leader in the cloud industry. Uh, AWS is uh, very stable. So whenever an enterprise level company uh, are looking for cloud options, AWS definitely should be the first choice. Uh, it has a uh, very good infrastructure and the reliability is just amazing. Uh, so whenever we're talking about AWS, a few services you need to know uh, for servers. The, the main service AWS provides is called EC2. That stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. This is for server-based applications. If we are talking about serverless application, then AWS comes with a very amazing uh, service that is called AWS Lambda that helps us to build our serverless application. And uh, if we are talking about the storage, AWS has its uh, very popular service they made as uh, S3, uh, Simple Storage Service. So these are some very popular services from AWS. So if we are looking for reliability and uh, security, then uh, AWS should be our first choice. Okay, so after AWS, let's talk about uh, Microsoft Azure. The impressive thing about Microsoft Azure is that Microsoft is spending a tons of money to catch this uh, cloud industry. So right now in uh, these recent years, uh, the percentage the holdings is increasing rapidly. This is really impressive. Uh, one cool thing about Azure is that uh, Microsoft uh, holds a major share of ChatGPT. So uh, they are planning to integrate ChatGPT uh, with uh, it, um, Azure platform. So that would be a game changer. If it happens in recent years, then uh, obviously uh, Azure will uh, get a t a tons of uh, benefit from it. Uh, beside that, Azure comes with a very cool services like wise for servers, Azure have Azure uh, virtual machines, which is kind of like the AWS EC2 uh, kind of service. Uh, then for storage, Azure has Azure Blob, which is very popular. It is uh, scalable. You can uh, put as many objects or files inside it, so it's uh, unlimited. Uh, for serverless, Azure has its uh, a service called Azure Functions, which are we can compare it with AWS Lambda. So uh, Azure is uh, kind of like if you compare the, uh, the timeline, Azure is new to the market comparing to AWS, but the way it's growing is pretty impressive. Okay, now let's talk about uh, Google Cloud. So whenever we are talking about Google, we know that we are talking about uh, one of the leading technologies uh, companies. Uh, Google Cloud is a very uh, good cloud provider. It has tons of uh, services. Uh, the excellent part of Google Cloud is that it is very good for uh, professionals who are working on data analytics, machine learning, or uh, uh, in AI, because uh, Google has all of these amazing services that uh, you can use the APIs under the Google Cloud, and uh, this is a very good platform for the DevOps engineer. So if you are doing anything related with this field, Google Cloud is definitely the winner because it can handle a massive amount of data at a, a single point of time. So if you are dealing with uh, tons of data, you should go for Google Cloud. Okay, after this overview, now we're gonna look into the actual side-by-side -side comparison. That's a fun stuff, right? So uh, let's talk about uh, the global foot footprint because uh, we really want to know which cloud has uh, the biggest uh, footprint 
that so it will help us uh, our application to grow suppose uh, you have an application uh, that is uh, uh, used from multiple parts from the world maybe you are in us but your application is uh, being used from europe so if uh, the customers that are in europe can't access your application uh, uh, quickly um, and uh, rapidly then uh, they won't use application they won't have a great user experience so for that reason uh, global footprint is uh, one of the major factors whenever we are comparing any cloud provider in that case uh, i did my research and found that aws is the leader in this field because aws has regions all over around the world besides regions it has multiple availability zones inside every region and the way things are developed in a very state uh, stateful way that it's amazing uh, that's why you can send background that if you see the certification numbers i do have uh, a more aws certification compared to any other cloud providers because uh, whatever comes first aws is the first one who, who introduces those and after that other cloud providers try to follow it the, I'm not saying that AWS is uh, definitely just only cloud provider that we should focus on, but it's better to focus on the uh, on the cloud provider that has the biggest footprint, right? So, according to my research, AWS is the leader. After that, uh, Azure, and in the third place, you can say Google Cloud. Now we are gonna try to explore the service-based comparison. Well. Um, these cloud computing services are almost similar. It's like programming languages. So suppose you are you learn one program language, maybe C. Then after C, it will be really easier for you to learn C++ or C Sharp because uh, the concept is pretty much the same. Just you need to learn the new syntax. It's the same goes for every cloud provider. So if you learn one cloud provider, then uh, from there you can just move to another cloud provider within a very short period of time because you have learned the basics, the very fundamentals things. And now you just need to know the new uh, names of those uh, services in different cloud provider, a little bit of uh, functionality changes. Other than that, all are pretty same. Uh, if we are talking about these uh, services, uh, AWS is best if you are uh, an enterprise level uh, uh, company and you really want your application to be available and scalable uh, all around the world and uh, you want a very seamless uh, experience, then AWS is definitely the option. For Azure, if your uh, uh, application is Windows-based application, then Azure is a good fit because uh, it has a lot of uh, interconnections uh, within the Windows-based APIs and everything. So that means if your application is uh, uh, based on Windows application, then uh, you can go for Azure. And for Google Cloud, so suppose if you're working on uh, uh, big data, AI, machine learning, these sort of technologies uh, are used by your application, then you can go for Google Cloud because Google Cloud offers a tons of services and APIs that can help you to uh, build your application for these technologies. Congratulations everyone for reaching this far of this video. Uh, so in today's video, we try to cover AWS, uh, Azure, Google Cloud overview, and then we try to do a side-by-side -side comparison, like which cloud is a good fit for you. Uh, well, if you're a new learner, so my suggestion to you would be, uh, you can go for AWS, uh, AWS Cloud because AWS covers almost all the services. So once you learn AWS, you are comfortable with AWS. After a few years of experience in AWS, then you can try to learn the Azure and Google Cloud. So once you are well uh, versed on all of these uh, three cloud then in this current job market you are a superstar so first you start with one be good at it then go for the other two so that's my suggestion and this is how i also did it so uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me and if you got any questions or any concerns please let me know under this comment section and i will definitely re uh, reply you back in a very short period of time uh, i am planning to upload videos in a very frequently manner if you think this uh, video was helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm planning to create a series uh, related to multiple topics. I'm going to cover cloud computing. I'm going to cover uh, 
security, cloud security, and uh, also I'll create a series related to certification process. Like certification, when you're talking about certification, uh, we have to come up with a very specific strategy. If you follow the strategy to make your life way easier and you can crack any certification. This year, uh, I uh, cracked uh, CISSP and CCSP certification using my strategies. So uh, I will share all the information so please uh, subscribe to my channel for watching all the videos that I will upload in future. Um, that's all for today and uh, I wish you a very wonderful day.